Hi, I'm Hong Jun An, and we are going to talk about our paper, Iterative Channel Estimation for Discrete Noising Under Channel Uncertainty. This is joint work with my advisor, Tessa Moon. Here is our brief overview. First, we introduce the universal discrete denoising and previous works in this end. Then we propose our algorithm and show the experimental results. Here, the setting of discrete signal denoising is as following. The source and noise are finite value, and the noise is assumed to be memoryless. Our goal is to minimize the reconstruction error, and the error is defined as hemming loss. In discrete denoising, the universal setting means one can achieve the optimal denoise performance without any assumption on source signal. Now, we will introduce three important previous works. The first work is discrete universal denoiser, which is also called DUDE. For a double-sided context, the reconstruction of Z is defined as this. This formula is the approximation of the base response for the posterior distribution on source signal. In DUDE, there are some strengths and limitations. It has strong theoretical result on the universality. However, the performance of DUDE is sensitive to the context size k. To tackle this issue, a recently proposed method, NeurDU, resolve this problem by using neural network. It learns a mapping S for each context with deep neural network. It trains a network with unsupervised fashion by using pseudo-label LNU. LNU is based on the unbiased, unbiased estimate of the loss, and non-channel pi is used to compute LNU. Note that neural dude is much more robust to K, and much better than dude. The last word could improves dude by replacing the empirical distribution with a neural network. The network for CUD tries to estimate the intermediate noise symbol, and same as previous works, the channel information must be assumed to be known in CUD. As specified in the original paper, CUD outperforms near DUDE and CUD DUDE. Here are our motivations of paper. All three universal schemes require known channel assumption. However, in real-world applications, knowing the exact channel is very hard. Therefore, can we estimate both the source and the channel only with the assumption that the channel is memoryless? To address this issue, we propose a novel algorithm, ICE. The proposed algorithm is iterative channel estimation, which is called ICE. It is an like iterative algorithm to estimate the channel, and unlike in Baumelch of hidden mark model, there is no assumption on the source distribution. To estimate the channel, it exploits the neural dude can induce a posterior on the source. After performing ICE, the, the estimated channel can be plugged into neural dude or CUD. The detailed theoretical motivation is given in the paper. The ICE algorithm consists of two steps. The first step is approximate E step, which estimates the posterior distribution on source signal. The overall architecture is based on neural dude. First, we compute the pseudo label using the estimated channel. Then, we train the model to get new mapping output. And after that, the posterior distribution is computed by combining the network output of NeurDU. Note that the posterior distribution is a partial sum of the NeurDU output probabilities. For example, if we collect the probability of mapping functions whose output, whose output is symbol A, then we can define the posterior on symbol A and the summation of probabilities of that mapping functions. After performing an approach E step, we compute the new channel matrix using the induced posterior. We call this step M step. The whole iterative steps are repeated, repeated until convergence. Remark that CUD cannot make induced posterior. Therefore, it is impossible for CUD to estimate the channel. So far, we have described the, the proposed algorithm. From now on, we show the experimental results. To iteratively estimate the channel metric, channel information, we first set the initial channel pi zero. We assume that the shape of the initial, initial channel is symmetric, though the true channel is not symmetric. For comparison, we compare ice with Baumelt, which also can estimate the channel by assuming the underlying source is Markov. To evaluate our approach on various datasets, we use three datasets. Hidden Markov model, binary image, and Narport data sequence, which is more complicated than others. The first, the first experiment is on Hidden Markov model. In Hidden Markov model, 
for backward recursion, which achieves optimal performance. And schemes with Pi, such as Dude Pi and Dude Pi and Good Pi, know the exact channel. The schemes with Pi Zero use the, the mismatch channel. And Ice and Dude and Ice Q utilize the Ice estimated channels. For all experiments, true delta was set to 0.3. Now, here are some observations. First, schemes which have mismatch channel are sensitive to assume delta zero. Second, the performance of ice is robust to hyperparameters k and delta zero. Last, ice works well when even the alpha size is large. The second experiment is on the binary image. To compare ice with other schemes qualitatively, we visualize the, no the well-known Einstein image. Here are some our observations. First, as we can see, ice and dude and ice code are very close to and dude and code. Second, because of Markov assumption on source, Baumwell experiments completely fail to de denoise. The whole results on other binary images are given in the paper. The last experiment is on DNA sequence. Note that since naive Baumwelts cannot reconstruct the DNA sequence, we use hybrid schemes. Endude with Baumwitz first estimate channels, or Endude with Baumwitz second estimate channels. Baumwitz first and Baumwitz second assume the underlying source is first order Markov chain and second order Markov chain, respectively. Here are some of our observations. First, the performance of ICE is highly robust to hyperparameters. And second, ICE Endude and ICE CUDE is very close to Endude Pi and CUDE Pi. Third, the estimated channels from Baumwitz scheme from Baumwalt schemes are much worse than ICE. This is due to the underlying source signal is far from being a Markov. For further details on our algorithm, we analyzed the performance of ICE. For this experiment, we proposed the two metrics. The first metric is the difference between the objective function with true channel with respect to double T. The second metric is the normalized L norm, which directly measures the channel estimation accuracy. Then, here are some observations. First, since the loss difference between optimal model and ICE is very low, after brief iterations, the model quickly converts to optimal model. Second, the channel estimation errors also become small and stable after few iterations. Last, the estimation error becomes smaller as the sequence length increases. Thank you for watching our video, and any questions are welcome.